7.15 in the morning, we're headed to the job. We got about a 30 to 40 minute drive. Uh, nothing I do to, is close, you know, normally. Like, uh, I, raw, I watch, uh, you know, Victory Outdoor, um, and, you know, all his stuff is really close. 15 minutes away, 20 minutes away. Like, most of my stuff just happens to be like 30 to 40 minutes away. And, um, you know, like, overall it kind of stinks, but, like, the upside is you get to drive and have, like, some peace and quiet for that first 30 minutes, and it just helps you kind of gather your thoughts for the day. Uh, because, you know, as men, or even women, but mainly as men, we have a lot we have to deal with day in, day out, mentally, uh, you know, going out every day providing for the family taking care of them and uh, there's a lot going on devil's trying to attack us every chance he gets so um, it's a battle every day so just having that time to just level out is nice and um, I mean I can get up in the morning and just go full speed no problem but uh, it's also kind of nice to just drive, so that's the uh, that's the old guy of me talking. <laughs> um, so we're headed to uh, the job. Is that Joel? I think it's one of my clients. What's he doing at Kroger in the morning? That's definitely him. He's the only one that drives that green Toyota. Um, we're going to do this job for him, help him out with it. Of course, we're getting paid, but, um, you know, we're excavating it. I went ahead and rented an excavator uh, because ours is being used by that guy. If you've watched the last videos, Taylor, um, I won't give his last name, but he uh, he's renting it. He rents our, skitster, our excavator with us. We own it. He rents it from us, and he gets to use it when we're not using it. And so this happened to where he was on a job and he just couldn't get off of it because of permit issues and whatever. So we're like, no, we're not going to do it. And then uh, Jared's like, why don't we just, you know, get it done so we, because it's going to be such a nice day tomorrow instead of just sitting around doing nothing. And, uh, you know, it's a couple hundred bucks to rent it. So I'm like, you know what? It's, it'll be fine. I just want to help him get it done. So, I got a little mini mini because I have a 55 Kubota. This is a 35 with a little thumb on it. So, this is going to be like 300 bucks for the day. And uh, just so we can get this thing knocked out. So, because Jesus is the people that he's working for are really pressuring him and he need, just needs to get it done. And I already told him I'd get it done. And so, I hate changing up on people. I like being there when I say I'm going to be there. Um, so we made it work. So we're going to be changing the main sewer out. We got to work around a gas line. So we got to hand dig that part. And then we got to rip out a concrete uh, sidewalk and replace it. Uh, and we're going to do all this today. I'm, I got concrete coming at 1.30. So I'm trying not to bump it up, bump it back. I would like to bump it up to like noon, would be perfect. Um, so. But we'll see. When I start to set up, I'm going to order the concrete in. So um, that's the deal with that. And I, I just want to be able to get in and out. And so we've got to haul the scrap out. We'll probably haul the scrap out to the quarry plant. Because I think there's a drop off there. And then grab a load of 11s, some 3 8 minus, crushed stone. And uh, get that thing buried. So he'll, uh, he'll have to already have it all done, obviously. But... That's kind of the deal with that. Hope you guys can see me with my new light setup. <laughs> it's my uh, it's my nighttime setup, you know, my nighttime studio setup. Got my Milwaukee light back there. So, um, but maybe this will maybe this will help too. Um, what else is on the agenda? I think that's about it. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Just had some decent sleep. It was all right. Got up at 6.30. I'm supposed to get up at 6, slept through my alarm, but the latest I can get up at 6.30 in order to get what I need to get done before we take off. So we made it. Not late today like we were the last few days. You know, I had to break that streak. I hate being late. Even though it's my job and do whatever. Well, there's Jared. Sucker. Um, you know, we can do whatever we want. It's like, I still... You know, I want to leave the shop by 7, and I live there, so nobody come trying to steal my stuff. I uh, got you on camera. So that's kind of the goal anyway. I just don't like being late and running around with my chicken with the head cut off kind of deal. And I just I ain't got time for that. So that's the scoop. And uh, I'm going to read some, some proverbs to get my mind right. And uh, I'll see you guys at the job. <laughs> I was about to call Jesus and ask him where the flip is he at because we just showed up, got our equipment unloaded and everything. Here he is. Just pulled in. <clears throat> Little sucker. I guess he's by himself. I don't really want to get out. <clears throat> I'm cold. I'm cold. Cold, huh? Ooh. Cold as flip, bro. Good thing I'm in the excavator. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys and girls, here's the job. Small little thing. Come on, shut, up, sucker. Got our stuff. We probably gotta rip out like two little slabs. Oh, he sounds mad. Ooh, he's ticked. So basically, gotta rip up the sewer. Septic line from here to here, from there to there. Take your pick, which one you like. So, hopefully this little mini will get the job done. I don't know yet, we'll see. So we gotta pretty much go under here and then tie into the main over here. I don't think we're gonna actually like tap into the main. We're just gonna tie into the existing, like right around here. We have the gas as well, so we got to deal with it. It's over here, so I think we'll be all right. But uh, we do have to rip up, like, I think this slab and this one here. <coughs> I don't know about y'all, but this thing has been getting everybody around here. I don't know what pathogen they release in the air, but it's potent. And everybody getting sick. So... Something's up. Dude, I'm telling you. <clears throat> he's ticked, bro. <laughs> Somebody's upset. Hey, I got James getting us breakfast. James getting us breakfast. I gotta get in the heat. <laughs> you know how it is. Oh man, this thing is like powerless. Alright, here goes nothing, eh? H2O. Thank you, Plexus. Not a sponsor. Well, if we hit some, uh, some crazy line, I'm blaming you, Jesus. It's your fault. I'm just here. I think the ground is still froze. All you people on YouTube, don't uh, don't take notes here, okay? Because I am not the best at digging. I can get by, you know, but I'm not no I'm not no guy. Does this every day, you know? 
I build pools and excavation as part of it, but I know my way around an excavator, but this is, you know, other than that, and that's kind of why I like small jobs too, you know, get to practice. I'll do the concrete over here too, you know, always practicing my skills. You know, God forbid I have to like quit my company and go work for somebody else, but in case I did, you know, I'm pretty versed on equipment, you know, decent. I can finish concrete, decent. I'm slow, but I can finish concrete. You know what I mean? So like, I'm developing those skills, even though it's a little sidewalk, you know. I'm not like what I would say top notch, but I would definitely say I know what it looks like. At the very least, I can manage guys. That's kind of actually a good conversation to have is being that guy in your marketplace where you're, you know, some, that skill that you're developing is, is top of the line and, and sought after. So I know uh, two or three guys right now at least at least one right now where if i said hey i'm done with what i'm doing i'm gonna come work for you i could go there and work for him and manage his crews because i have the same level of detail attention for detail as he does i understand how things should be done i understand elevations i understand building uh a lot of building concepts a lot of a lot of stuff so that's why i I tell you guys, um, you know, develop skills. You know, be picky at what you do. Be, strive for excellence. You know, God says do everything and do it to the best of your ability. So, because that'll pay off, you know. So not only is it the right thing to do, but it just so happens that the benefits of you becoming an absolute beast at your job can eventually, you know, uh, provide you with a solid job that's, you know, insane, right? All because you learned the skill. Now, you weren't seeking the money, you weren't seeking the fame, you weren't seeking nothing short term, okay? Whatever your job may be. Did I hit it? I hit something. So... <coughs> <coughs> The point is that you can, you're, you're, you're mastering that skill. Now, you know, another thing the Bible talks about is <clears throat> call no man master. So I'm not saying anybody's mastered a skill, but that's what you strive for. You, sh you strive for mastery. Always, 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 always. Hey, does this septic line come straight out? Does it come straight? I mean, I'm not really straight. Okay. So, if you guys uh, read. Mastery by David Green. That is such a good book. Talks about um, developing skills and becoming a master at what you do, and uh, just striving for excellence always, no matter what. Striving for excellence, and uh, that is the goal, man. And if you do that, ah, man, we hit a tree. Oh, how big was this tree? It was here. How big was it? Oh, that's good to know. We're going to be here forever. So much for getting done early. This thing ain't going to dig out no tree. Huh? Yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit more of a path here. Frick. It's like six foot deep, dude. That's a lot of fall, bro. Yeah, I mean, I think it's got in that 45, it's got more fall. Yeah, yeah you think? Yeah. I'm That's like sure. almost as deep as over there. Yeah. Almost 
Ah, uh, let me dig my way up through here, and you can clean it out. Let me get it dug up first. Yeah, we can. Here she be. We got the fitting on it already. Uh, we got this thing pretty much. We're shoveling it now. All right. This little mini's about. We about pushed her all she got. <laughs> ah man, not bad though. I think we don't have to put any 45s on, but like one. I think we can just like literally go straight which is what i was hoping for because it was we're going around this tree hopefully huh dude does that look sketchy or what bro look at that freaking exposed electrical oh my gosh bro what in the world <laughs> do you see that I'll probably just fill it in with 11s. We're just gonna get the truck and dump it in. <laughs> get a shovel, James. No, you're on that side. I'm on this side. Sorry. Sorry, you gotta get to work. Can't do it anymore. My tweet's back. All right, let's just cut to us being finished. So I'm tired of this. What? Yeah, <laughs> Did it? Yeah. <laughs> Put the mail in and the box fell off. <laughs> what the heck, bro? He just drives away. He don't care. Well, it's not his job. Yeah, he's like, eh, not my job. I'm out. Peace. In your pocket, yeah. bro. <laughs> so that happens when you've been laying pipe a long time. Yeah. Frick. It's your shovel at. Yep, easy peasy boys. Got it all buried. Massive mound of dirt, but we're good to go. <sighs> My little slab. I don't think we even need to come along, honestly. gotta be kidding me unbelievable huh yeah I got it I need some water now need to clean this off yeah oh you got water yeah Stupid leaves. Worst time ever to pour concrete. It's in the fall. Easy boys, easy peasy. Get out of here.
Oh boy, it's late. I want to go home. <laughs> hey, you know, not bad, eh? For a little city sidewalk. Like my broom. I do not recommend. Okay. I just... It looks good. It's flat. Corners look good and everything. So that's what matters. And uh, this stuff is super old. Cut up. Over here is exposed, separating. So uh, I feel good about this. And I'm really tired. I want to go home. But... Hey, not bad, eh? Not bad. The broom's a little rough. But we're getting city traffic so no big deal man it's been a long day bro i've been here for like two and a half hours waiting for this to dry absolutely insane all right gang it's 5 11 dude we poured concrete at two o'clock three hours and 15 minutes to set up to where i could broom it and it was still too wet to broom Oh man, but I broomed it anyway. It's a city sidewalk. It's a lot of grip, you know, it's not gonna kill nothing. But these, all these sidewalks really need to be replaced, to be honest. But it turned out good, you know, not bad. So that day took way longer. I was expecting to be out of there by three. A couple things happened. I thought that the cement, straight cement with the <clears throat> Hot water would have taken off but the sun went at, went down so like the sun disappeared and so that just killed everything and then so that didn't happen they brought it on like a seven it should have been brought on a five and it was not and so that was the other problem so I should have put one percent calcium or two uh, percent I should have just lit it up and I could have been in and out of there in no no time 30 minutes but that's what you get man I don't know that was just that's just, honestly that's the second time that's happened to me I did that on a garage floor or parking garage or just a parking lot for our duplex did the same thing except that I just ordered the wrong mix I, sh I should have put a little bit of tweaked it a little bit to make it to where we weren't sitting there for good love forever dude so, anyway, we're out of here, man. We're gone, gone. So we're headed home. 40-minute drive home, man. Gee whiz. It's a long way. I got, still got to drop this, drop this excavator at uh, Jacoby's. And then um, I think that's it. You guys uh, liking the new audio? I got a new audio system. So, for when I'm in the truck here to sound a little better you don't got all this echo of the truck i hope it's what's coming through anyway and um so there's that let me see for tomorrow we have not a whole lot it's raining i might not even have a video out tomorrow we'll see um you know i got like content to make i got videos to edit and all that so that's a whole deal uh we'll see i got a fence to put up <clears throat> tomorrow so maybe I'll film that and then uh, I don't know I sometimes you know in the winter time we do a lot of we go to breakfast a lot sometimes we talk about business and then you know stuff like that so maybe you guys want to see that stuff I don't know talk about our year talk about what are we what are we gonna do for next year the gavel of just talking I don't know if that's interesting enough. I don't even know if this channel is interesting enough. Who knows? But at any rate, that's that. And um, don't forget about the email list. Check that out. Fill that out below. Free giveaway is what I meant to say. It's a giveaway. You know, I'm got an hour of coaching for you guys. And uh, it's all it's all you. An hour for you guys so if you win I'm giving away one a month one hour a month so it's about a $1,500 value and uh, you get to call me and ask me anything I'll give you whatever you need help you out in any way I'll even split up the calls 
if you want to do like two or three, maybe even four 15 minute calls. Because honestly, you can get a lot done in 15 minutes. As long as you go straight to it. So, um, yeah, that's the deal. Hopefully we don't hit too much traffic here. I'm not looking forward to that. I just want to get home, to be honest. Yeah, sorry. Pulled out in front of you a little bit. I'm trying to get out of here. Why am I not going right here? Why in the fuzz would it take me there? I'm not going there. 64 jammed? It doesn't show it's jammed. Whatever. I'm going 64. Dang it. <clears throat> if it's jammed, it's jammed, bro. Then I'll know to follow the GPS. I hang that mess. Going the way I'm supposed to go, bro. Get out of here. Don't need you no more maps. So yeah, um, if y'all are curious, I charged... Well, actually, I'll just leave it below. I don't even know if you guys want to know. How much do you think I charged Jesus today? I charged... I gave him a price, and uh, the homeowner agreed to it. So, I don't know if he upcharged it or not, but he, um, you know, we just tacked it onto the deal. So we knocked it out really well, man. I mean, having the dump truck is useful, dude. Pulling an excavator here. Uh, dug the trench. As soon as we got there, started digging. James went and got rocked. That took forever at the quarry. By the time he got back, <clears throat> we were mostly done. Jesus went and got fittings and pipe. We finished digging, cleaned it out, dumped some rock, put it all together, buried it, got the slab ready, some concrete came. Uh, concrete was at 1.30. Um, then I moved it to 2 o'clock. Then, uh, you know, poured that. And then I waited there for three hours. Oh, dude. It just chaps my hide, man. I hate waiting. Like that, I, I just hate it. It just kills my soul. Such a waste of time. You know? It is. I could have edited a short... I've got so many shorts to edit. Oh my gosh. Tons of work to do. You know, and I was thinking today, because <clears throat> I have these deep thoughts, if you guys are interested. And I was like, man, we are just <clears throat> in a time capsule. You know, if you thought of something like a vegetable or a preservative of some kind in a can, said, hey, this thing's got 30 years, and after 30 years, it's over. It doesn't exist no more. And then you think about that in your life, and you're like, dude, I just have, like, these these visions, not visions, but just, like, glimpse of, like, what's going on in my life. And I'm like, dude, in, like, 50, 60, 70 years, if I live a full life, none of this is even going to matter. There's not going to be, you're dead, you're gone. There's nothing's left. It was such a surreal moment where you're just like, that is the craziest thing ever. That you're going to be gone. This whole simulator we live in is going to be disappeared. All the things we've chased. All the things we've done. All the things we've built will no longer exist because you will be dead. It's insane to think about. You know? Deep thoughts, man, on a Thursday night. So, well, I ain't got nothing else to say. See you tomorrow. Ah. Bro, look at this nasty mess. I'm trying to get a thumbnail for the video. I'm gonna screenshot it. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> ah. Okay, that's gross. I'm out of here. Every time you gotta tell people to stop using 
the facilities before they actually do it. Unbelievable.